Hello and welcome to Kerbal Swim Program 2. This is for Science Update. Well, you might ask, hold on, Groundforks, how did we get from Kerbal Space Program 2 to Kerbal Swim Program? I'm gonna tell you, but first, hey, say hi to Jeb, he's flying all around, and we are taking a look at the For Science Update. Yes, that's right, the long-awaited exploration mode, and we're gonna be starting Let's Play today, so step with me, and we're gonna be making a brand new save campaign to the stars agency name Gromworks. set my color to red i still haven't ab been able to put in my flag but let's get into it anyway we come back to the kerbal space center where the first edition would be the mission control and i know you guys are eager to see the tech tree but we're gonna go into the mission control to first pick up the contract the first contract is to launch a rocket guess what no swimming today huh all right anyway so we're gonna be supposed to launch a rocket from Kerbin and achieve an altitude of at least 10 kilometers. And we're gonna get 25 science. And here we have introduction of Dr. Carrie Kerman, who will be guiding us through the whole mission and stuff. And she says, well, if you're interested in tips and tricks, exciting discoveries, join me for a mission brief, which is what we are looking right now. Anyway, she continues to yap a little bit about what it's supposed to be doing. And she told us to track the mission, which means accept the mission and get ready to rumble. So... Uh, with these links on the bottom right corner, we're going to be going into the VAB or R&D. Let's check out the tech tree, shall we? So we have the starting rocketry and the first would be the light launchers. But to unlock that, we need 10 science and we can ha zero, currently have zero science. So that means we are stuck with the parts that you can see. Well, it's not so bad. We have a couple, we have a pod, we have a swivel engine, we have two fuel tanks, and we're gonna put them to good use. So, first things first, we're gonna go into the construction mode now. So we're gonna take our tin can. This is rather a simplistic mission, but some of you might be the beginners, in which case you might be interested. We go from the back. We always put the, you know, the pod and we put the parachute because why? Going from backwards, parachute is important that because it will help us land safely without crashing and causing Kerbals to die horrible death. Then we're going to be taking a decoupler, which will throw away the not needed fuel tanks after we deplete them. Then we're going to take a fuel tank because we obviously need some fuel to power up the engine, which will be the swivel. And this rocket looks like a monstrosity. And honestly, guys, if you're doing rocketry, don't do this because this will be nuts. So what we're going to do here is I was thinking here and I did... There, there's a new addition where you can really nicely see the delta V, the thrust weight, the burn timer and the start. And I think those additions on the staging part are godly. I love them. They're amazing. There are so, so many small quality of life improvements that it's really ridiculous. I, I, I'm really enjoying this update. So put here, this will give us, putting a bigger tank, it will give us 1000 meters per second. And let's put some stabilizers. It's our first rocket, but no need to really kill our Kerbal on the first flight. Honestly, I really wouldn't like to kill the, with the Kerbal. It would be really a bad omen. So, our first pilot de jour is Valentina, and let's kick it into high gear. We have the beautiful launch, and we have immediately clicked the, the, the blinking... Uh, uh, science icon which means we have already collected a little bit of science and that was Valentina's observation of the situation you know we've launched kudos you know so as always we are just burning upwards and our epilepsis should end up at a nice and cozy 25 kilometers which is well above the needed 10 kilometers here once again while we're atmosphere we click this and we have collected the science so what, what we can do now and science a reward because we have crossed the 10 kilometers so we have fulfilled our mission as you can see i have clicked here because we can transmit our science or return it back to kerbin so i figured i would transmit but then i realized my electric charge is being depleted in the top right corner which means I don't really want to consume everything. And then I armed the parachute because, after all, we need our parachute to be armed to be able to, you know, slow down and descend safely. And I was really worried that my electric charge was going to deplete in the top right corner, as you can see by the EC. And if it depletes, I wouldn't be able to, you know, trigger the parachute, which means we would die a horrible death. As I said, 
dying a horrible old death on the first launch, that's not really a good idea. So we are going to go and dip gently ever. Take a screeny, obviously. Oh, it's head protruding. Okay. We're not having a heat shield, but currently we're not going that fast that we need a heat shield. And look how beautiful the Kerbin looks. By the way, guys, frame rate wise, I know it's just a starter rocket. And I know that it's, you know, previously we had some KSP issues. But look, looking at the KSC, I did have my NVIDIA, you know, experience uh, frame count meter. I was hitting 144 frames per second, which compared to when it games launch, it's godly. Previously, I was getting around 30, 40 ish. So I would say, I mean, it's, I cannot judge the performance right now, but looking from this, the game is running smooth. It looks beautiful because the graphics and everything look beautiful. And also the black rack introduced the volumetric clouds really do add up to that atmosphere compared to the just, you know, layer that was just before, which really didn't work for me. So overall, I can tell you, I'm really enjoying this update. And yes, I will be playing the bananas out of this playthrough. Hopefully a little bit of ultra wide. Forgive me for that aspect ratio, but I'm really enjoying playing it on this wide monitor. And it's perfect for viewing on mobile phones if you put it in the horizontal mode. And it's perfect for watching on TVs because it will look nice. Anyway, we are rotating Valentina as she gently descends onwards. And then we will be hopefully making a nice and gentle splashdown in the Kerbal Bay of... Mexico? Mm, next to the KC anyway. So, 60 meters to go. Nice and easy. Gentle splashdown. First flight of the rocket by Valentina. And splashy, splashy. There we go. Re vessel recoverable. So, the vessel is recoverable, but we're not going to do just yes. We have flashing science icon, which means if you click it, you're getting science. And we're going to be exiting the vessel because, well, Valentina saw that, you know, the seaside is outside, it's nice, breezy, so she felt she wanted, go, she wanted to go for a swim. Because, you know, we did say it's a Kerbal Swim program, right? So, hey Valentina, what do you say to go for a nice swim? Let's show them this fancy Kerbal Swimming animation, shall we? Look how happy she is. And the spacesuit can be used as a diving suit, see? Space mask working as a diving mask, works perfectly. All right, but one thing that we have forgotten, we have forgotten to collect a surface sample. So we might as well be doing that. And you can see, run surface survey. She takes out the vial, opens it up, scoops it, and closes it up and packs her in her back pocket. Beautiful. That means that Valentina has successfully collected a surface sample of water. I don't know why she couldn't go just go outside of the KSC, pick up a little bit of water and do she really needed to go fly. <laughs> Maybe she wanted to catch a rare fish. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, reports were transferred and that means we should go and recover the craft. After recovering the craft, we went to mission control to claim our science rewards and claiming our science rewards, thrilling work on the launch pad. Everything is exciting and Dr. Kerry Kerman is so excited to greet us then. And when he said for us, no comment. We have successfully completed the mission and the next one we will go higher. But that's happening in the next one.